What, what, what? <clears throat> to stick this. Okay, hold on. Logging in. Okay. Hi, Chow. Hi, Gloria. Bonnie, Stacy, Ryan, Elizabeth, Caroline, Bonnie again. Anna, Judy, D, Katina, Crafting Queen, aka Sunshine, Candace, Dee Dee, Sandy. Jennifer, V, Gloria, Tina, Jan, Emily. Did I miss somebody? Jennifer? I already said that. Emily, Bonnie, Susan, James, Linnea, Diana, Chow, Charlotte, Stacy, Cheryl, Roxanne, Carol, D, Deborah, Bonnie, Diana, Sandy, Cheryl, Chow, Stacy, Song B. Is that Songbird? Jody, Diana, Wendy, Gloria, Francis. Erica, <laughs> Roberta, did I say hello to everyone? Hello, Karen. Hi, Hazel. If I missed you, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need the whole team. You know how if you guys okay in the states, if you've ever gone into a Moe's, it's a Mexican food chain. If you've ever gone into a Moe's, when you walk into Moe's, hey, Lincoln, Stacy, are you on that? Um, <laughs> right. Hello, Michelle. So, uh, right, that Caroline, they say, welcome to Moe's, right? Okay, so listen, this is what we're going to do from now on because... I was wrong yesterday. I thought I said hello, and I didn't say hello. So I'm really sorry. I missed um, Denise when I was doing my demo. So from now on, when somebody new logs on and I miss them, you guys have to cue welcome to Moe's so that I can say hello to that person. Okay, so uh, hello, MW from Tennessee. Auntie Teresa, yesterday's big winner. Hello, Michelle. Michelle, you are out in Australia, right? Down under, mate. Right. Hi, Judy. Yes, just like that. Because I don't want anybody to feel left out when I'm demoing and can't read all the text. Poss possibly, Stacy. We'll just keep an eye out for right now. All right, so I ordered this off Amazon. I will link it for you guys. It was a drop dead price. All right, so micro heat tool HT400. Um, okay, good. All right. Ah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Cheryl. Come on, you guys didn't do it. <laughs> uh, 
All right. <laughs> Hello, Roxanne. All right. So, previously, oh, I'm going to explain it, Roberta. Hold on. I just dropped my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Terry. <laughs> this is going to get out of control. Hello, Terry. Hello, Gloria. It's okay. I just got done eating dinner with Leah. All right. So I previously, well, you guys all saw Old Blue. I don't know where she went. I put her away. So this is the Wagner heat tool that a lot of famous YouTubers used, and of course, we all jumped on, and we're like, we gotta have that, and of course, we all bought it, and mine, I dropped it and cracked it right here, just so you know, um, but it's a really hot tool. This says that it is the model HT400. It gets between 50 and 60 gigahertz, 120 VAC, 3 amps, 360 watts. I guess that's voltage. I don't know. I don't know what Okay, anyway, so this tool does an excellent job with heat embossing. It gets hot pretty quickly. <laughs> hello. Yes, Roxanne, you are special. Uh, hello, Candace. Hello, Judy. <laughs> all right, so this guy, first of all, he's way littler and he's much lighter. And he has a one and a two setting. It doesn't really like go to one and two. Like it says one off two. Maybe it's these claws. I don't know. But we're going to try it out together. And he has a little kickstand. Uh, I don't know how that works either. You know, Nancy should probably read the instructions. Why would I want to do that? Anyway, he is definitely smaller. He is like gun shaped. Pew, 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 pew. Okay. So um, he says, let's see what his his amperage is. Uh, same thing, 60 hertz. Make sure that we're not going down in power, even though we're going down in a smaller size. <laughs> 120 VAC. 350 watts. So this is less than this one, just slightly. This one's 360. Um, I don't know. We're going to try it out. Let me read how to use this kickstand thing. Uh-huh. Okay. Obviously, it gets very hot. You don't want to put this anywhere where it could get... Oh, it goes backwards. Pencil grip for smaller jobs that require precision. Okay, low, off, and high. Hands-free, cool-down operation. Okay, it goes... These things go all the way backwards. woo -hoo. They go like that. Oh, it's like little legs. Oh, we can uh, we can emboss from above without touching it. Hey. All right. I'll probably never, ever use that. Th that'll be the first thing that gets ripped off of here. These little leggies. Let's put those back. Um, It's very light. It just, I don't know. It doesn't feel as industrial as this one does. Let me see what we got in cord length here because if it's shorter, that's going to be a bigger problem for me because I'm already stretching it as it is. Let me see here. Uh, cord length is exactly the same, which is good. Let me move Big Pop out of the way here. Hi, Candace. Yeah, you can emboss without holding it. Hello, Sue. That's right, melted booty diggers. We can't have that. What happened? Who's hi, Roxanne? Hi, 
Hi, Charlotte. Did I miss anybody? Hi, Sue. Sue, you had a... Did you have a question on our group today that I missed? I think you had a question, Sue, and I don't know if I answered it or didn't answer it. Whoa. Uh, wouldn't that be something? Nancy's gun doesn't work? What the heck? Hold on. Oh, it's the nails. Oh, I broke my nail. I broke my little fakies. Okay, it does work. You got to press pretty hard on it. All right. Okay, Sue found what she need. Great. Hello, Shirley. Hello, S. Anderson. Some necessary evil. Hi, Tracy. All right, I guess I should get some stuff out for us to emboss, huh? I'm going to get out the best embossing powder in the world. <laughs> it's too late. I already bent the nail. I'm going to have to replace it. It's okay. Um, hi, Terry. Where's other Terry? Other Terry is the one who talked me into this thing. All right. I need a piece of paper. Y'all. My list in the Stampin' Up! book is getting quite long. I'm a little concerned about my budget. Okay. Let me find us a pretty stamp. <laughs> and I went fishing today and didn't lose any. Hi, Vals! Hi, Kim! <laughs> Chow is having so much fun with this. All right, I need a stamp. Uh, like, cause I, I, it's not like I don't have eighteen billion stamps around. Just pick one, Nance. I know. We're gonna go with some Michael Jackson because he's bad. Who's bad? I'm bad. Yeah, you guys, don't forget to get your um, Nancy's new toys. That sounds like some kind of other movie. <laughs> um, yes, I've seen all of the beautiful cards that have gone on there. I am super impressed by all of them. And the fact that the majority of you got them out in time so for those procrastinators and hanging out in the background get your cards mailed <laughs> Mount chicka bow wow <laughs> ryan <laughs> you guys ryan has just lightened up this group so much Hello, Damalou. Hello, Renee. Hello, Bobby. Hello, Shirley. Who am I missing? You got to let me know if I'm missing someone. <laughs> no, they got it, Ryan. They're just not going to say anything. Okay, I'm going to do one on low. Oh, I probably should have did the anti-static tool. Oh, well. All right, I'm going to do one on low and then one on high. And we'll see if there's a difference. And this is using the Brutus Monroe Night Shift Mulberry. So it looks black, but it actually has like this kind of a reddish purple tint to it. Okay, here we go. 
Hello, Mr. Tran. Hey, Betty. Okay, this <laughs> I haven't seen any battery ones, she says. <laughs> Joanne has them. <laughs> oh, you guys. Oh, I think, Candace, it was a um, color of the month from the, um, the monthly subscription box. All right. Uh, low is really, it's warming up. It's really, really light blowing. You guys have to tell me if it's as loud as my other one. My other one was pretty loud. Hi, Margaret. We have our two Australians here, Margaret and Michelle. Okay, low is not going to work for me. What would you use low for? Oh, my gosh. I should have been done by now. I can't. You guys, the low is not doing anything. Maybe for blowing stuff around. Yeah, low, not going to work for me. We got to move it up to high. Now we're talking. High speed is always the best speed. Okay. All right, there we go. Woo! That worked right away. Okay. So it's definitely lighter like I can feel the difference it's lighter I have to get used to kind of holding it oh I missed a spot I gotta get used to the button not having plasticky dumb nails Hold on. Okay. Um, so that's kind of cool um, I don't know about this little kickstand thing. Probably will not use that, but it's designed that you can set it off and let it cool down or, n n you know, hold without having like a hands-free kind of heat embossing thing if you wanted to do that. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I don't like, is mine that way? Oh, mine is that way. I was going to say, I don't like that this is exposed, but mine's that way too. So I do have that little silicone holder thing. These, these little legs are dumb. They should have just put like a little clip under here that just pops down. But whatever, I didn't design it. And then I'll just put it in my little silicone thing. So I'll try this out for a little bit. I think it was 25 bucks, 24 and change. But I'll link it for you. But it seems to be the replacement to this one. It's definitely lighter. The handle is a little easier to grip. Oh, look, this one had a kickstand and I never even paid attention to that. Whoops. Anyways. All right, so there's uh, one of my new toys. I think that's the only thing I got in the mail today. What else did I get? That is all I got in the mail today. Some bills. Who wants those? Psh. All right, so I'll just have to keep practicing and playing with it. But I think I paid $50 for the other one, and so this one was half the price. Uh, who's here? Crystal? Fox girl. Oh man, this isn't going to work. I'm falling behind. All right. Hello. Hello, all you people. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Debbie. Hello, BB. Hello, Renee. Hello, Fox girl. Hello, Jan. Yeah, the most thing's not working because I don't know who. <laughs> oh hello sweet tea hello mimi i just saw the sweet tea as it rolled up hello jody hi jan hi christine hi patty <laughs> Okay, all right, enough with the Moe's. Enough with the Moe's. 
Just say hi and then I'll know who it is. No, not burning anything yet. I'm so far behind, Jan. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Fun. Stacy, I don't want to offend anybody. Ooh, thanks, Betty. Oh, it's Michael Jackson. Who doesn't love him? You know I'm mad. I'm mad. May he rest in peace. Sorry, 80s chick here. Love my Michael. Hello, this is me you're looking for. Come on, you guys know I'm always singing. All right. Plan B. Um, I was going to cut out the turtle. Do you guys want to see me cut out the layered turtle? It's five layers. It might take a while for us to cut out the turtle. Since Wednesday, am I coming out? No self-control. Yeah, Bonnie, you're turning into uh, sunshine. Oh, I don't know if they make a die. I got this stamp at, uh, yeah, the comments go really fast. So if I don't see it, you can ask again, or you can ask Stacy or Tracy, or you can post it in our Facebook group. Q Facebook group. You have the mermaid and a background you were going to put it on. I didn't cut the mermaid out yet. Need to quit watching your channel every time I end up ordering foil from Creative Vision Stamps. Oh, speaking of, did you see our special guest revealed herself in the group today? I can't moon dance. I wish I could. Hi, Selma. So, I guess there's one more color coming out next week. <laughs> you never know who's in our Facebook group. Always be kind to each other. Yes. And... I requested a secret giveaway to someone, and I'm not going to name any names. Um, but I asked her to send the secret surprise as one of our giveaway gifts. It is the foils to someone I believe needs them. So I'm not going to say who it is. I'm not going to... Um... Ooh, Tracy's almost 2,000, but that person... I'm going to contact them in a few days and see if they, well, next week, end of next week, and see if they got it. Tracy's going to do a giveaway at 1000 Let's see here. Yeah, Crafting Queen, one more color, she said. Jody went and bought six more rolls. What colors did you get, Jody? No crafting queen. I'm sorry, honey. It was not you. <laughs> um, so Songbi, the the mystery box is sold out. However, I have one that I'm going to be giving away. Hi, Michelle. We have one we're going to be giving away on our Facebook group. Carol is also my foiling addict friend. Yeah, we're not going to do the turnabout. Did you know that somebody commented on that video? I can't even watch this. It's We're 45 minutes into it. What a waste of my time. I was like delete and then i wanted to comment back nobody's holding you hostage and making you watch this <laughs> charlotte you're getting 25 feet of foil it will last you a lifetime I'm sorry, Margaret. She doesn't ship to Australia. I know. I know.
What kind? Oh, yeah, I deleted it before you guys could see it. How do you join the Facebook group? Well, Stacy just linked it for you. Right, shoe fly, don't bother me. Okay, Michelle's got her trimmer, ink, tacky glue, stamping pro, glue tape, but I didn't realize I got the refill. And yeah, then you can just buy the one. That's fine. You'll be all right. Oh, you mean like like shorter roll, Charlotte, like four inches instead of six inches? Is that what you mean, Charlotte? I have another package stuck in Chicago. <laughs> Carol Green is in our Facebook group. Yep. Carol sends me beautiful things. Yeah, comments do go fast, so. It's okay, Betty. Aw, thanks, Nana. Well, I was going to, but I'm reading the comments. All right, let me uh, let me walk you guys over to the computer. I'm sorry. I was reading the comments. I didn't want to miss anything. Okay, so um, what I wanted to tell you guys was um, if you want international foils and if you want the four-inch foils, the little mini foils, Technique Junkies. Technique Junk. Oh, I forgot the stand. Technique Junkies sells the four inch foils. They're four inches by 25 feet. And she does ship internationally. Just so you know. There, she does not have the selection that Creative Vision Stamps does, but um, you know, she is another small town uh, company, and I thought we could support her. Okay, hold on. I'm moving you guys over to the computer. Have you guys seen this trick before? The incredible tricky donkey. Uh, Candace, it's pretty good, but it's just, it's four inches instead of six inches. Yes, it's Technique Junkies. Yep, that's who it is, Patty. Okay, so, all right. Hold on. All right, I'll show you guys this donkey trick another day then. Not a Mexican donkey trick either. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me try to get this moved without dropping my iPad. And, all right, I may not see comments, so no welcome to Moe's. Okay, so I downloaded, let's refresh how we download things. All right, in our Facebook group, um, there is, is it in files? Let me see if this is in files. Is this it, sea turtle? Sea turtle, I think this is it. It is. Thank you, Bernie. Okay. So when you go to download this to your computer, remember you need to change the name to, uh, here it is. Okay. So it said my computer saying, Hey, why are you trying to open this? I can't open it because it says SVGG. So what we need to do is go to on my computer, it's go to downloads, wherever that may be. And it's it tried to download it, but it couldn't open it, okay? So what I have to do is rename it. And when I rename it, I have to take off one of the extra Gs down here. See how it says SVGG? So I need to take one of the G's off and then hit enter to save it, okay? 
All right, once I save it, then I'll be able to open it. Now, in my case, I've already opened it in my silhouette, but I wanted to show you guys that because some people can't open it. All right, now, when you open it, let me undo everything here. Now, I'm using it in the silhouette. Again, I will play around with the scan and cut. All right, it shows up like this, one big turtle, okay? I do actually want to make this turtle a little smaller. I think I'm going to do two on a sheet of eight and a half by 11 paper. Let's do eight and a half by 11. All right, so if this is a sheet of eight and a half by 11 paper, I'm going to turn it sideways. I'm going to try to put, maybe I can do four, four turtles. You think four will be too small? Let's see. Let me turn this back sideways. I see. Welcome the Mo's. Okay, I figured it out here. Um, we're going to copy. We're going to paste. Uh, let me turn this turtle upside down. So first thing I'm doing is figuring out my paper configuration to make sure I can fit four of these. Because if I'm going to waste a sheet of paper, I might as well get four turtles out of it, right? All right, so I just want to see if I can fit four on there. All right, now that I know I can fit four on there, I just want to memorize the configuration. I'm actually going to move three of them over here for a second. I don't need them. I'm just using them for sizing. Actually, I can probably just delete them. Let's do this. All right, I'm going to pull my primary turtle over here, and I'm going to right-click and ungroup him, okay? Okay. See, ungroup. I hope you guys can see this okay. I'm so sorry. I can't. Once I ungroup him, it's actually going to give us ungroup. Okay. It's going to give us layers. So the most detailed layer is going to be the top layer. So that's layer number one. The next layer is layer number two. Layer number three. Layer number four. And layer number five. Okay, so you can see this is a five layer mandala turtle, right? So I want to start with my first piece of color. And they're kind of giving you, uh, if you want to figure out your own color combinations, like I like doing the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, whatever you want to do there. So this is my bottom layer of the turtle, right? So this one I want to cut out of whatever color paper I'm going to do. I saw, welcome to Moe's. Okay, so I'm going to copy this and now I'm going to paste it four times. And why am I pasting it four times? Because I want four turtles, right? Am I going to be able to fit them all? Oh, I could fit them this way. It's kind of close. I like turning these two around. Now, I was never very good at doing puzzles. Sunshine, are you awake, honey? Don't fall asleep. I know it's been a long day. I'm done working for this weekend, you guys. Leah and I went to the lake again. We didn't get crap. I did not take a nap today. Very good with resisting the couch nap. I made uh, breaded pork chops, scalloped potatoes, and broccoli for dinner. Okay, so now that I have four, I'm going to do these in red, orange, yellow, green, blue, rainbow color turtles. Don't ask me why. I just am. Okay. So I need to kind of put you guys down. So hold on a second. Hold on. Let me go grab some one, two, three, four, five colors of paper here. Uno momento. Welcome to Mo's. Talk to yourself. I'll be right back. 
that's just my machine turning on. Uh, maybe I'll just do different shades of green. Let me see if I can get away with that. And it's not like I'm a paper hoarder or anything. Can anybody in this group relate to that? Okay, I think, I believe, I have five different shades of green. So I'm just going to load them on my mat. Hold on. And this is where it comes in handy to have two mats because then you can just switch the mats back and forth. Hold on, too many prizes at my feet here. You guys need to start collecting your prizes. Now, if I were smart, I'd cut the paper out and figure out how to do like two sheets at one time, but I'm not going to go into all of that unless something goes wrong. Hold on. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Stop. Cancel. Yes. Stupid non-sticky mats. Denise I'm sorry I missed you yesterday Denise I saw that I did so I sent you a cute little baby Yoda in the group I hope you saw it okay I'm gonna just switch over to another piece of paper and keep going on a sticky mat not a not sticky mat I'm really Darn it. Somebody burnt my she shed. All right, I got to do this again. This is why I don't like doing this on live because stupid stuff always happens. Okay, well, I have a new mat. It's sticking to the new mat. Newer mat, not new mat, but you know what I mean. Burn down my she shed. Yeah, now you need a new even she shear shed. This one's nice. You know what? Let me spray these with pixie spray quick. Oh, 
Cheryl. It was hit by lightning. sprayed the other two mats. I don't know if that'll work, but we are going to just keep on trucking. Okay. Layer one, cut out the first four turtles perfectly. Turtle outline. Little turtles. Okay, so that's layer one. I know, you guys want to see what's going on. Well, I can't be in two places at once, and I can't use two hands and no hands to record. So you're going to have to just wait, children. She, she, shed. Gonna keep on trucking here. Next color. What color was that? That's pretty dark. Okay. So before we cut layer two, we gotta line it up on the mat. So now what we do is we drop everything on the floor. Okay, so now we close this out. No. Oh, you dumbass, you don't do that. I give up, I give up, totally give up. <laughs> you just have one of those days, Nance. Oh my gosh. Back to the beginning. Maybe it has saved it. Hold on. No. Oh, shoot. Oh, poop. You know what? We're just going to go without layer five. That's what we're going to do. We're going to resize this. And we're going to say, sorry, layer five. You just don't exist anymore. And if I happen to make it the same size, let me go get the ruler and measure it. Can we just go back to just watching Nancy's recorded videos and not Nancy's live? I did that, Gloria, but it doesn't save it. See, that's what it opened, the big one. See? That's what I did last time. I messed it up. You guys love the lives because I screw everything up. Hold on. I'm going to measure my turtle just for a second. <laughs> it is called real life crafting. That editing crap you guys see in a half an hour video, that's bull. <laughs> that is not how real life crafting goes. Hold on. I got to get my ruler and measure my little turtles. And then feed them to the birds. by three and three quarters. Let's see how close I can get to that. Oh my God, I almost dropped my laptop. All right, that's close enough. We're just gonna go with that. Oh, I gotta change my paper size. I'm like, why does he look so big? Uh, 
Okay, back over here. Oops, I'll do it here so you guys can see. Right click, ungroup, right click, ungroup, separate the five layers. You can cut them in any color order you want, by the way. You don't have to do it. I like to go from the bottom up. Okay, so we already did this layer, so I'm going to move it over. Um, let's do this. I like to move the layers I cut, like, down below so that I don't cut them again. So it's over there. Okay, now we need to do this layer, which we're hoping works, and if it doesn't work, at least the rest of the turtles will fit him. So I'm going to copy him and paste him four times, or three times. And put one over here. This should be pretty close. They look pretty close to what it was before. Worst case, I got four little extra turtles. Leo will find something to do with them. Speaking of Leah, she's upstairs watching TV. She is like into some new TV show. Alrighty. All right, close enough. That one's in the machine. Let's go for it. Send. I should have moved that guy up. Okay. Let me get the other two pieces of paper ready. Okay. Unload. All right, there we go. Okay, so then we go back over here to design. Don't do what I did and cross it out. You go up here to design. All right. <laughs> Don't X out because you'll be booted out like I just was. Okay, so now we can delete three of these turtles move this one the down here so we know it goes on there okay this is the next guy And I would just like to uh, put a little disclaimer that I am not formally trained or endorsed by Silhouette. If you would like professional advice, please log on to the Silhouette School blog. She is amazing, but that is not me. I am full of mistakes, as you can see. All right, next piece of paper. Send, cut, send. Okay, while well that's cutting, we remove layer two. I will say that uh, my silhouette is cutting nicely today. I really think since the scan and cut has entered the house, there has been some jealousy with my silhouette, and so it has been performing at peak performance. <laughs> I saw that, Bonnie. It's the newer Wagner, hun. 
Wagner 400. I'll link it for you. as planned. Let me see if I can look up the Wagner heat tool for you. Oh, I'm afraid to do it on here. Hold on. Now we're getting more intricate. Sing it, sunshine. Joanne, it is a lot of work, but it's fun. Yeah, I had a Darcy one. It was fine. Yeah, Pam, it does. When you use that, do you have to type yes? Yes, you do. You should be able to hide the layer scan and cut the level version. <gasps> There's a buble version? Hello, Freckled. You're new. Just take a look. It's in a book. Oh, colorless blender, Bernie. You just take it and rub it across the top. Okay, we only have two more layers to go. I'm getting, they're already loaded on their mat. I just gotta load the turtles. And you gotta remember too, we're doing four because I didn't feel like doing one big turtle. I figured if I did them this size, I could, um, what do you call it? Let me make sure this cut before I peel it. Oh yeah, I did. Um, I figured I could make them small enough to stick on the front of cards. All righty, we're making progress, people. I used to love LeVar Burton. Man, he was, he was Kunta Kinte in Roots. That was one of my best movies when I was a kid. I love that movie. Do you guys, we were in Germany and I must have been, I don't know, second, third grade, something like that. And the teacher argued with me that I had never seen Roots. And I was like, I know who Kunta Kinte is. She like argued with me. And I was like, dad, you need to go tell the teacher she's stupid <laughs> because I watched the movie with you. My dad was like, yeah, don't listen to her. And then he was on Reading Rainbow. And then he was Jordy LaForge on Star Trek. And then I don't know what happened to him. I'm showing my age now, aren't I? Ryan's like, who the heck is Kunta Kinte? Uh, Leah and I did go to the lake. We didn't catch anything. She was like really bored, but we saw Mother Goose and her 10, 11, whatever little baby she had with her. So that was fun. And then uh, we came home and just kind of hung out really. Then she tried to get on YouTube and the YouTube problems were happening. And then I tried to get on YouTube and the YouTube problems were happening. So I was like, well, we'll just eat dinner and we'll come back to it later. I know, Candace. I feel you. And my, my team right now, we're only Monday through Thursday. So like... The last meeting of the day is at 4 o'clock and we're like dragging to get to 5 o'clock and everybody's like, let us out. Oh, this one's got some little bits. I'm going to have to pokey pokey out. And I'm in the car every day. And my car, I don't know if you guys, if I told you, I probably told you guys this, but in October I fell down the steps and broke my tailbone <laughs> and there's nothing you can do about it. So I had this sore butt for several, several months. Um, so now when I ride in certain cars, it's really aggravated based on the seat. So I bought a cushion to sit on, but I got in the car the other day and I was like, man, this hurts my butt. 
Yeah, Jordy. All right, so I'm wondering, can I get out of this while it's cutting or is it gonna cause me issues? Does anybody know? Can I go to the next design sheet or should I leave it alone? Oh, Bernie, we know you slap happy. Oh, don't tell me that song, B. I slipped. I have I've hardwood floors. I slipped coming down the steps. I like the third step down and I fell like 10. I slammed down on the steps and then fell like 10 steps down. Leah was asleep on the couch and I just laid there on the steps like I'm dead. And I had just quit. You guys, I just quit my job. So I was like, I'm being punished for quitting my job. But I, and I had, you know, at that time, no health insurance. And I was like, I'm not going to the doctor. What are they going to do for a broken tailbone? And then I called somebody and they were like, yeah, you have a broken tailbone. Don't even go to the hospital because all they're going to do is tell you you have a broken tailbone and to go home and to go sit on a cushion for three months. What? Jordy's reading books on YouTube? Yep. So, I mean, it's definitely all better now. Like when I ride in my car, sit in a normal chair, I'm fine. But if I'm sitting too long or I'm in my company car, I need a cushion because it gets stiff and it hurts. And it literally feels like somebody's foot is up my you know what. I remember having to go for an hour drive with my mom and I was like crying. And she's like, what's the matter? I'm like, I can't ride in the car. I'm in so much pain, Mom. And you're making me drive you places. Well, I've learned there are certain movie theaters that have those lay down recliner chairs. So fun. What did I miss? Well, we're down to the second to last layer. Although we like going to the drive-in movie theaters. What did I miss, you guys? What are you up to, you troublemakers? Stacy, Tracy, you keeping them in line? Oh, Bernie. Yeah, the movie theaters around here, they're upgrading to lay down, lay down um, recliner chairs and they serve you food. Yeah, I bought a pur purple cushion. Oh, I got plenty of that, Regina, don't you worry. I got enough to share. Oh, Kim made a funny. Oh, okay. Don't you worry, Kim. I will find it. Oh, man. I might have made my turtle too small. Those little bits are going to be a pain in the weed. Yeah, we did that in the first 10 minutes, Bianca. It's all right. I bent one of my little fakey nails. <laughs> hey, I'm on like day three of these things. They're holding up. Oh, I am a pain in the butt. Yes. Stacy driving? I had sciatica with both kids, Tracy, so I feel your pain. It's okay, Bianca. I mean, for $25, it's not a bad deal. I spent 50 on my old um, heat embossing tool, and it's the same thing. Uh, low didn't do anything, so you want to use it on high. What? What kind of seats are these, Bernie? What kind of movie theater were you in? I didn't think they had those anymore. <laughs> Was that where they were showing Adventures of Nancy's Toys? <laughs> That's what she said, Tracy. <laughs> sure, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> children there's no children here <laughs> okay 
All right, last layer. Hold on. Okay. All right. Wait, was she calling us children? She might have been calling us children. Sorry, Mom. All right, back to design. This last layer is going to be the most intricate one, so I'm going to assume it's going to take the longest to cut. And then I will uh, start weeding what we have. We'll go over to the desk while this one's cutting. It'll all be worth it. I promise. They'll be pretty little turtles. Let's go back to the desk, children, while the turtles are cutting. Hi, Margaret. No, I'm still too afraid to use that one. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe this weekend. All right, some of these greens may not go together, but whatever. Oh, I need my little spatula. Where's my spatula? Carol's in. Charlotte, go eat. We'll probably still be here. I got plenty of pork chops if you want some. But I'm pretty sure Leah ate all the broccoli. bits. I'm not going to put all four together. I'll just put one together. This was the first paper I cut that got ruined. I just wanted to show you guys it was pretty cool as, when it lasted. And then this was the second one. And then we'll see if we made these small enough or big enough. Oh, he's too big. That's what she said. Yeah. Could still make it work. All right, I don't think that's gonna work. I'm gonna leave that layer out. Miss Leah can color those and make them her own little turtles. Yeah, that's about the same size. Or since I could alternate, because it pretty much is. Let's see here. It is almost the exact same size, so I should have made it a little smaller. It's okay. We're not going to fret here. So basically, all of these are layer one, the base. Okay, come on. What happened? What I do? I don't know. 
are we talking about? I'm being good. All right, uh, I'm gonna grab my Xyron machine because we never use it. So this would be one of those instances where we should use it. I don't know what's the top and what's the bottom. I should probably make sure I'm putting them in here correctly. Although I think they're pretty symmetrical, so it doesn't really matter. This one, these two got cut weird for some reason, but that's okay. Four little turtles getting all sticky. All right, that's done. I'm hoping these will kind of weed themselves as I put them through the Xyron. We'll see if that's gonna work or not. like to because I don't want my machine getting sticky um, cutting through so that's why I don't because this this stickiness is kind of like all over what did we call it like boogie snot glue That didn't work the way I wanted. Of course not. Nance, you're doing a live. Why would it work? Where's my little pokey tool? Uh-oh. Where's my poker tools? As I peel this up, I'm just going to kind of weed in place and try to stick the little pieces. There's not too many on this one. Oh, come on. I was hoping that I wouldn't have to do weeding because you guys know how much I hate weeding. didn't work. You know what I need? I need a um, lint tool. brushy thingy.
Oops, his head's crooked. Oh well. He'll get over it. I can barely line that one up. So this is layer five, which I miscut. And then layer four and layer three. Here's layer two. We're gonna have the same issue with the weeding. Not good to have long, stupid, fake nails when you're doing this stuff. Okay, well that backfired. Don't do that. I was thinking if I stuck it on the on the plastic, I could just lift it back off and it glued itself back down to the sheet. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm not messing with that. Turtle down. Turtle power. All right, let me get my rolly thing. I'm going to stick it on the non-stick mat. Maybe it'll stick to the non-stick mat. Maybe it'll stick too well to the non-stick mat. Oh, I ripped him. This is not going well. I don't think using the Xyron was a good idea. Now everything is... <laughs> right, Stacy? This was terrible. Can we find something else to do? <laughs> oh, no, I think I Xyron the wrong side. No one can say that I am not entertaining, whether it's not being able to do this or not being able to do turnabout stamps. <laughs> this is what not to do when doing layers. I did, well, I put it on the uh, top part and it stuck. And I put it down, it won't stick on here. That's the problem, is the whole thing wants to come up. Oh my gosh. You know, it's like one of those slapstick comedies where the guy touches the glue, and then he touches something else, and then he touches something else. Like, that's what's going on right now. Get there, Charlotte. Relax. I'll get there. <laughs> Guess what, turtle? You are now extinct. Yep. God, I'm gonna have to weed this. I hate weeding, you guys. <laughs> weeding is as bad as fussy cutting. I shouldn't have put the Xyron on here. Don't Xyron it until after you weed it.
This is why Nancy's videos are 15, 20 minutes because I don't get myself involved in this kind of stuff, you guys. Legit. I don't do this. Better not be messing up my paper over there while it's cutting or I will have a hissy fit. I need the other pokey tool. Where's the good one that Carol sent me? Carol sent me that nice cricket one and now I can't find it. All right. Leah, bring mommy a wine cooler. This is gonna take a while. Can't see, I don't know what needs to be pulled out here. I don't know where my other pokey tool is. Well, the top layer is all that matters. It just got done cutting. I did not Xyron it. I will weed that and then we will stick it on. And then we will have our beautiful layered mandala, mandala turtles. Pretty sure I Xyron the wrong side because this is like really painful and picking these pieces out. You guys get to see the impatient side of Nancy. I know I always tell you about it, but now you get to see it. For real, if I wasn't on the video, this would have been in the trash. <laughs> I would have just thrown the whole thing away. Hey, Leah.
Speaking of Dobby, Bernie, how's your dog doing? I keep looking over for my pokey tool like it's magically going to show up, and I think it's on the other desk with the scan and cut. So I would say leave the turtle as big and don't make little turtles. Just do one big turtle. <laughs> this is a pain in the ass. He's being, uh, can you feel the love tonight? Leah just went in the kitchen and ignored my cries for help. She's over me. She's like, Mom, I'm so done with you. She's like, just hanging out with you is getting boring. tell Nancy does not have the patience to do puzzles. Do you know I never finished the paint by number I started for her in January? <laughs> Guess I should get around to that. It's not like we've been quarantined or anything the last two months. All right, I'm gonna say he is majority weeded here. There's like four little bits here. I can just poke it out real quick. I'm going to get one turtle out of this. Those other turtles are never going to see the light of day. Just being honest here. I feel sorry for those of you who have hung out. Oh my God, 133 people when I'm doing nothing but getting mad. <laughs> They're like, this is the day Nancy loses her she. We all want to see it happen. Alright, this is as good as I'm going to weed this little guy. Could probably sit here for a while and make it perfect. Not happening today, crush. Not today, buddy. Dude. I know. <laughs> All right, so that goes on top of this. Let's try to make his head straight. There's very, very small 
margin of offset when layering these, just so you know. They're really tight. Come on, Nance. Okay, apparently this turtle likes to lean to the left. To the left, to the left. Hey, look, I'm going to use my scrapey tool for once. All right, let me go get the final layer of my dysfunctional turtle. I am so sorry for all of you who have hung out and watched me for the last 30 minutes struggle with the turtle. And for the rest of you guys, you're just crazy, and I love you all. <laughs> okay, let me go get the final layer. Hold, please. I'm not going to show it to you guys yet. Ah, oh, stupid thing. Well, my weeding tool is not over there. Now you saw the last layer is foiled. But I'm not going to Xyron it. This is the uh, peacock foil from Stampin' Up, by the way. Well, this is much better. This I can deal with. Here we go. This is weeding itself as we go. This is how it should be. Super delicate, so I'm just trying to be careful here. All right, all the bits are falling out of this one. There may be a happy ending at the end of this, you guys. very intricate so you do got to be careful pretty sure i just scratched up all my foil doing that but oh well so because there's so many little turns and curves in this it's it's staying inside, so you just got to be careful with pulling the little pieces out, that's all. Slapped the head on the edge of the table. No, it's not It's not that it's not cut. It's just because they're so intricate that, you know, like there's little curls and stuff. That's what's going on. They're stuck in there. Like every little piece has a curl in it.
something like that. Looks like a piece of stair step. This one's heart shaped, V shaped. Like they're interlocking. That's the best way to kind of describe it. Curly cule there, a little curly there. <laughs> Gloria. I should just stick to stamping images and coloring them, right? Come on, Nance. What are you doing to us? Well, I mean, I did have a couple of hangups because of my own issues. Like, I didn't stick the paper to the mat right. I canceled out of the first cut, you know, so... That's just Nance being Nance, unedited, raw, and real. Same crafting issues you guys have. Ooh, look at the YouTuber with 15,000 subscribers screwing up just like the rest of us. That's right, people. I'm just your average American girl. with my $5 pink Target nails. You are round the square, round the square. See, so there's all these curly Q layers and you have to look at them and say, okay, does that one stay put or does, it, that, does that one come out? And you have to be careful when you pull it out because it's attached to something else. We're getting there. We're making progress. Just talk amongst yourselves. Don't forget Blue Knight Rubber Stamps. 2020, 20% off ends on the 15th. You should have your card swaps in the mail by the 15th. Uh, new stamps are coming from Kitchen Sink Stamps, I think, hopefully end of May, maybe beginning of June. Um, I got a text last night from Blue Knight Rubber Stamps saying, what did you do? Everybody wants all the magnetic handles and the cloud stencil. <laughs> Creative Vision Stamps launched nine new foils and one more to come next week. Uh, I just ordered some stamps from Altenew, so when they come next week, I will show you guys what those are. Oh, I got approved for an affiliate link with Impression Obsession, which has some fabulous, they have fabulous large background stamps, if you like large background stamps. They also have some cool dyes, some cool stamps. They have... Um, some cool photopolymer stamps, regular stamps. I have quite a few of their stuff, actually. Happy anniversary! Bonnie, you ordered those from Blue Knight and took advantage of the 20% off sale? Leah! Let me watch you take that machine and throw it down the steps. No, I'm just kidding. Because, look, I killed all these turtles. I'm a turtle killer. You know what? Just go get me some straws since I'm going to be a turtle killer. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> you just laughed at me and walked away? 
You ungrateful child, you. What? Oh, a gummy? A jelly bean. A jelly bean? Thank you. That does make me feel a little better. Thank you. I'm out of gummies. Ew, that was a nasty one. Blech. I don't know. Lime? I like lime. Oh, that was weird. Why give me weird stuff? Mommy good. Mommy good. Ugh. Mommy no likey sour. Mommy like a sweet. Leah, did you have a fun day today? I guess so. You didn't do anything. From what, Bonnie? From Blue Night Rubber Stamps? He's going to send some to me. Right, Ryan? You're going to share with me? Ryan knows I love gummies. You do love your gummies. I do love my gummies. That comes from growing up in Germany. That's where that comes from. Chocolates and gummies. Oh, yeah, I don't want the sour ones. You keep those. <laughs> and five hours later... Okay, guys, thanks for watching me. I've reached 25,000 people on YouTube now, and I'm still weeding that turtle from 2020 COVID. Leah's going off to high school, Xavier's graduated college, and I'm on my sixth husband. Weirdo. <laughs> 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 Remember when Leah used to do lives with me and how cute she was? Well, now she's a sassy teenager and all she wants to do is steal my money and take my car. I had to sell my boat just to afford to buy her a prom dress. This is now the COVID turtle. What am I going to call it? It's cursed. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm almost done. I didn't mess it up too, too bad. Weirdo, you missed it earlier. Mommy was like having one of her little meltdowns. I got your yarn. I did. I was going to ask you to bring me a drink or something. But you just ignored me and hurt my feelings. So whatever. You said, you just said, I thought I heard you call my name. You were too busy into your new TV show. Instead of hanging out with mom. Now that you got your big fish, you don't need me anymore. I see how this is. You're turning into your brother. You don't need me anymore. This is why I need to build up my YouTube channel. So when you leave me, 
somebody online somewhere will still need me to answer what's the difference between hot foiling and regular foiling. So I'll be needed for that. I don't really know the difference. Well, you don't need to know the difference. Only I need to know the difference. <laughs> Tracy, I have not cut off one of my fingers yet or burned myself, okay? There are worse things that could happen other than losing patience. <laughs> Let's look at the brighter side. You guys are all hanging out. There's 154 people watching. Probably half of them are new. They're just like, I thought this was the lady giving away the free stuff. We got to watch this turtle crap first. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you must endure the turtle first. <laughs> yes, they, they, right, they searched in YouTube how not to weed a turtle, and YouTube said, here, we have a live going on right now. This is how not to weed the turtle. Do not do this. And also, do not do turnabout stamps with this woman. Bernie's making s'mores. Oh, you know what? I was thinking I was going to buy a little fondue pot for me and Leah, but seeing how she's lactose intolerant, I guess the only thing we could do in there would be like chocolate. I was watching a YouTube video and someone said on there that they, um, they're lactose intolerant. Somebody on your YouTube channel? Yeah, someone I, I was watching YouTube. Whose YouTube? You weren't watching my YouTube. Your YouTube went down today. All right, we're about at the end here, guys. I just have these tiny little straggler pieces that just pop out. Thank you guys for enduring. I know this is a pain in the butt. This is where watching the replay comes in handy because if you tap the right side of the screen two times, you can fast forward and you can't do that when you're watching a live. So I'm sorry. And yeah. Those of you that are here for the Wagner heat tool, that was done in the first 10 minutes. <laughs> You'll have to go back and you could probably go back and watch that and come back to me and I'll still be weeding. <laughs> yes, Stacy, go in and uh, change that for me. <laughs> All right. For those of you who are new, don't forget to hop on over to Tracy Schultz's YouTube, which is way more professional than mine. She is almost to a thousand subscribers and she's going to have some giveaways soon. So if you don't win one of my giveaways, you have a chance at winning one of Tracy's giveaways. Mysteriously though, her, her videos are much nicer. She does do some good editing and cleaning up of her stuff. And um, clearly, I don't do any of that on my channel. <laughs> so if you're here for a laugh, this is the comedy channel. If you are here to learn something, mm, well, other than what not to do, you might want to go check out Tracy's channel. And if you're just looking for some people to hang out with and chit chat with, Hop along over to our Facebook page, which one of our admins will post that for you. 
So Tracy posted her channel and our Facebook page. We have more giveaway goodies going on over there. Um, we have over 500 members. We have a lot of fun, a lot of support. We help each other out. We are not sponsored by any companies. We are just there because we love crafting and we love foiling and we love anything else creative and we love supporting each other. Judgment-free zone. Yeah, that's us. Okay. Almost done. I know. I keep saying that, but I really am almost done. This this layer has to look good because this is the top layer, so we can't have this one boogered up. Hi, how are ya? I'm Nancy. I do not do makeup very well. You know what I do do? Bust the balls of the guys when I go fishing. That's what I do. No, I'm just kidding. I don't do that. <clears throat> In my head. In my head. Zombie, zombie. I'm going to start drinking after this. some coconut cookies yeah go get mommy a, a drinky drink out of the fridgy fridge she's just clicking away over there she's got her headphones on she ain't listen to anything I have to say she's like mommy don't talk to me just mess with your turtle head Little pieces not coming out. Surgery. Just gonna pick them off. Well, now that I've been doing this for 18 hours, it's looking pretty good. All right, if you cut the turtle larger, you won't have these problems. So I would leave the recommended size. Don't make it this little itty bitty thing, no matter how cute you think it's gonna be. Totally not worth the extra sparkles I just gained in my head. Okay, let's do this. Even though he already has a crooked head. I mean, what can I say? I will be um, doing an auction for this turtle. <laughs> it's a one in a one of its kind turtle from Nancy, foiled. <laughs> and you're just gonna pay me to never do this again. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> a Zyron just to make it easier. I should have just done the mermaid. Forget this stuff now. 
I thought the turtle would be easier than the mermaid. You know, I'll do the mermaid on the scan and cut, and then it'll look like a breeze. And I'll be like, I love the scan and cut. And here it was just because I'm a moron. Well, it's fine now, Bonnie, because I already weeded it. It's only a problem if you don't weed it. So Zyron, Denise, it's a sticker maker. <laughs> Be afraid. Be very afraid. No, Nancy's just going to print the SVGs from now on, foil them on the mink machine, and call it a day. Ooh, I can do that on these other turtles. I'll just do the two layers. Forget doing four layers. Five layers. Took 90 minutes to make one turtle, Leah. How much hours have you been on it? Like three hours making one turtle. What are you doing now? Taking some of the sticky boogers off. Ew. It is ew. Mommy needs a drink, Leah. You know, an adult drink. She's like, I have no idea what you're talking about, Mommy. Ugh. Now all the little weeding pieces are sticking to the turtle. I'm it? done. I'm done with the turtle. What is it? Die, turtle. foil bits scratched off of there. All right. It's over. It's, a, it's over. The turtle. I have no love for you, turtle. It's like all the X's in my life. You were great in the beginning, but psh, just not what I needed. Too much aggravation. <laughs> right, Tracy? Tracy's like, I said that a half an hour ago. Well, maybe someday I'll put the rest of these turtles together. But uh, it's not happening right now. All right. That was so not fun, you guys. Not fun for any of us. I'm sorry. Please... Send an email to get a refund of your participation in tonight's YouTube live. I think we should give away some stuff, Leah, for their aggravation. What do you think, Leah? Should we do some giveaways? Yeah. All right. Well, the first giveaway I'm going to do, come here. You got to help me pick this one, on. is on the sewing box. Just because I knew that was a unique um hold on situation. Thank you guys for joining my Instagram. We'll pick one out of there too. <gasps> Elizabeth, she got a mini mink. You go girl. Okay, Leah, I need you to come over here and pick the names out. That way nobody can be mad. All right, I am going to say for these two packages, because we pulled an international package yesterday, if your name gets called and you are international, uh, I'll have to owe you something else, because we did mail out an international yesterday. So this is for the sewing basket. Let me show you what that one is. All right. 
And then Leah, pick another one of those bags. You go pick <laughs> another one of those bags. Go randomly pick another bag. A bag or a box? Get one of those little bags. Okay. I randomly picked it. <laughs> you randomly picked it? Okay, hold on. We got too much stuff. All right, you need to just, let me close this out. You need to scroll through here. And just pick someone. And just pick someone. Okay, so just take your time looking and scroll through there and pick somebody. So while Leah's picking somebody for the sewing bag, I'll show you what's in the sewing bag. All right, so in the sewing bag, you're going to get um, a bunch of those little embroidered embellishments that I was sent. Okay, and then you're going to get the embossing folder. Oh, you're going to get a sample of my DNA, my hair there. Okay, uh, so lovely needle craft 5x7 embossing, and then it has the center, which I believe it cuts out. Yeah, so you have a die that, so it's a cut and emboss. And then this one has the little dress Which form. I, Which one I landed on? Oh. Okay, she does she doesn't want it. Okay, so that's okay. Good choice though. This one, which is the patchwork clamshells embossing folder. And then you have two little dress making tailor made stamp sets. And then these tiny little dies. So that is the little sewing. Kids. Okay, Susie Fick, you are winner. Susie Fick. Okay, don't go anywhere yet. We're going to pick another winner. No, we got to pick another winner. Come here. I'll be right back. Oh, where are you going? Just ditching me again? Is Susie on here? I don't know. I don't think so. You don't even know. You're not even reading. Where's my little foil things? Okay, so I'm going to put Susie's name on this. Is she on here? And if she doesn't respond, then we'll pick somebody else. She was? Did she leave? Oh, tomorrow's Friday. I gotta go to the post office and mail some of these tomorrow. Susie Fick, you won the sewing bag. And that's because she participated in the um, foiling and stamping group. I told you guys I would do things all over YouTube, our, our Facebook group. And now we're gonna pick somebody from Instagram. Come here, Lay. I said Susie Fick. Yep. Okay, let's pick somebody from Instagram. Okay, we're going to go to Instagram. Oh, well, we're just going to pick this person right here. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> wow. That's all I'm going to say. All right. She, Susie is here. Yay, Susie. Oh, I'll give you guys the address email. Okay, next prize. This person is on here or was on here. I did see them. This is going to Instagram. This person has been following me on Instagram um, and very supportive and they totally deserve this prize. So let me see here. All right, here we go. This person is going to win... Uh, oh, one of the beautiful Concord and Ninth, ninth Turnabout stamps with the matching dies. Uh, a little package of foilables. Okay. A nice sentiment stamp set with some flowers. A Gemini festive bow die. A Spellbinders nest abilities die. This is really nice for putting sentiments and things in. This is actually really cool. This is called Floral Ovals. And the hummingbirds from Kitchen Sink Stamps and a beautiful card. And ironically, this person designed our logo for us. So everybody give it up for Elizabeth. She designed our logo for us. She also joined me on Instagram. And uh, Elizabeth, wow, girl, the love is so real. 
Thank you so much, Elizabeth. So Elizabeth, our logo designer, thank you for everything you have done for us. This is gonna go to you, sweetheart. She's still working on the logos. I know you guys are waiting patiently, but I keep sending her changes. Yes, you are the best. Like every time I see the logo, I'm like, oh my gosh, she's so awesome. She might have left. She was here earlier, though. So this is our Instagram winner. And then the other one was our Facebook winner. Well, what the heck? We're giving us stuff away. Let's pick somebody off the live, Leah. We might as well go to the post office and mail a couple of things. Pick a box, Leah. Come on, you gotta pick a box and you gotta pick a name. We're gonna pick a YouTube winner right now. Who wants to win a prize? No one. Is Elizabeth on here? I saw Susie's on here. Susie, make sure you email me your address. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you wanna do a bag? I said a box. Pick a box. Okay, for the winners, please. Email me here your address to mail these out. I am going to try to go to the post office tomorrow. NancyStamps15 at gmail.com. I'm not doing international tonight, you guys, because we did an international one yesterday. Let me move the awful turtles out of the way. Leah, where's my phone? you got to pick a winner. Oh, Elizabeth is there. Yay, sweetheart. I don't know where you put your phone. Okay, right there. You need to go to today's live. You need to go through the comments of people that are here saying, me, 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 me. And I'll show them what they're going to win if I can fit all this in the box. Okay. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You, there's like 191 I know, people. I know I'm okay, calm on. down, calm down, calm down. You know, Leah, when she does this, she looks at your uh, pictures, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. All right, this person is going to win a Parisian. Oh, is this the Parisian? Oh, this is the Parisian box. Okay, this person is going to win the um, Parisian 3D embossing folder. Okay. You're also going to get the Parisian stamps and die collection. And actually, I do need to fold this down to get it to fit into the box. So I'm sorry about that, but that's how it's going in there. All right. You're also going to get the fence, Parisian fence die, which I'm also going to have to fold to fit in there. Put some tape on here. Okay, you're gonna get these Parisian die cuts. You're yeah, gonna get on, this bunny um, die and sentiments pop. What are they called? Stamp and die. Some peekaboo. Oh, peekaboo. There we go. It's not French, but it's part of our theme. Cute there. Um, you're gonna get three brand new alcohol inks, and you're gonna get a logo that Elizabeth designed. All right, so this box is gonna go to. Hold on. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on. Don't say anything. Let me look what you're doing. Make sure you're picking somebody that's here now, not somebody that was here an hour ago and left us. Show me point. Carmen Nunez. Carmen Nunez. Wow, she doesn't have a picture and you picked her. Carmen Nunez, my daughter liked your name. No, I just looked at the picture and I liked it. There wasn't a picture on there. <laughs> Carmen Nunez. We got 206 people. Grab another envelope. Let's just mail another one out. 
Do I see some thumbs up? I don't know. I only see 61 thumbs up. I don't know if these guys want these prizes. 61 thumbs up. I mean, I made you guys laugh with my terrible turtle duties today. <laughs> 67 thumbs up. 70, 210 people watching. We can do better than that. Oh, this is a good one. All right, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. No whammies, no whammies. Come here, you're gonna pick another name. Come here, no whammies, no whammies. Let me show you guys the next prize. The next prize you guys are thumbs upping for, 75 thumbs up is, again, some Creative Vision Stamps foilables. A beautiful Elizabeth-designed FSC logo card. This one has two beautiful dies from Sheena. You are getting the um, poinsettia plant and, what do you call these, snowflakes. So beautiful dies. You're going to get the three-step layered kitchen sink stamps, beautiful teddy bear. He is so realistic looking. And one of my favorite go-to stamps, kitchen sink stamps, Friends of the Moon set. So that's what's in this one. A child ran away. Okay, I'm just gonna scroll and pick a name. Boom, boom. Someone that starts with a Z. There is nobody that starts with a Z. How about? How about Jennifer Zhang? Yeah. Jennifer Zhang! I couldn't find anybody with a Z, so that one first one came up. Jennifer Zhang! Jennifer Zhang, a new graduate, new to our stamping group. Her boyfriend just got her some goodies. All right, so you guys need to email me your addresses, please. NancyStamps15 at gmail.com. So that I can go to the post off and mail these tomorrow. If you did not win tonight, do not fret. We have 19 packages to give away. We still have the mega mystery box on our Facebook group. I think I'm going to save that one for last because I know a lot of you guys are still getting your foiling in. So that's on there. Um, we do have... I have a mystery gift going out to um, someone, which are the new foils from Creative Vision Stamps. Um, the only and and if you guys win these, you know what? Share, keep them to yourself, do whatever you want to do. But I better not see any prizes on eBay, okay? Um, and then also, we're gonna pick out somebody from Brutus Monroe that's gonna mail out an embossing uh, package. So we have a lot to go around. Please don't forget to head on over and um, subscribe to Tracy Schultz and join our Facebook group. It's Foiling and Stamping Fun on Facebook. I'm going to be doing giveaways on there. If you want to follow me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram, it's Nancy Stamps 15 And for Jennifer, for Elizabeth, and for Susie, I am going to go to the post office tomorrow. Auntie Teresa, I am going to mail your package to Australia tomorrow. Um, so I will get these ready to go. You guys can just email me your addresses so that I can get them done. I do truly appreciate you guys hanging out. I know it's a lot of fun, and there are a lot of times it can be annoying. Believe me, I watch YouTube channels too. 
Um, and for those of you that are subscribed and keep on keeping on and helping us out, I love you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being kind. Thank you for supporting each other. That's what our team is about, what our group is about, foiling and stamping fun. Um, we put the links on there. We would love to have you guys join us. I generally go on between 7 and 8 p.m. Eastern time. I've been pushing it back later so that other people in other time zones can get off of work and be able to watch. Yeah, I'm going to go have a wine cooler, maybe some cookies or something. <laughs> but please stay safe. Please stay supportive. Be crafty. Keep on stamping. Keep on fishing. Keep on foiling. Thank you, guys. Yes, we are one big crafty family. And any questions you have, please don't put on there. Listen, on the post, I do want to do some public service announcements here. You do not have to put on the post if this isn't a live, please, allowed, please delete it. If you don't see your post on there, I deleted it, okay? The only one that can delete posts is me. So if I don't think it's appropriate to our group for whatever reason... I'm going to delete it, all right? But if you have a question, please ask the question. Never say, I think this is a dumb question because there are no dumb questions. We know in our group we have people that have just started out with this hobby. And we have some people that have been doing this for a long time. So we are all there to support each other. I will foil a fish. Um, and, you know, we're all learning together. And, you know, kind of... My way of doing videos, I don't always do lives, just so you guys know, this is just new for, for COVID. I've been trying to keep everybody positive and keep everybody supported. So once I get back into a regular schedule of work, which is going to be in the next couple weeks, you guys aren't going to see me on every night. You're only going to see me maybe once a week. But I have other videos that go up. I just did the design team video for Blue Knight Rubber Stamps yesterday. So don't forget, use code 2020 to get off at Blue Knight Rubber Stamps. Um, you have our lovely Laura, who has revealed herself in the group today. Um, she's retiring, so uh, you can only place orders until May 26. I can tell you she's selling out of those new foils very, very quickly. It is the best foils, heavy-duty quality foils. She explained that in the group today. You get 25 feet of foil. It will last you a long time. It doesn't scratch or flake off. And I think the majority of our team has found out for firsthand how much better quality that foil is um kitchen sink stamps i do have an affiliate link and a discount code for them for you guys also for arteza right now there's a discount code it's nancy stamps four and you guys can get a discount so if you're looking to build up your stash um, I do have some new stuff from Arteza I'm going to show you guys. Arteza is a good alternative. You know, not all of us can afford high-end things. Um, and sometimes you got to start somewhere. And I do believe that Arteza is a good starting brand. Tracy, you have Arteza. Um, what do you think about them? You know, and then you work your way up to Prismacolors and uh, Faber-Castell and things like that zig markers and copic markers and things like that so just saying there's some alternatives i try to always work within a budget i will tell you guys hey if you don't have a budget go buy the copics go buy the new kareen markers that i was lucky enough to get from you guys and try out i love those markers but they're not in the budget <laughs> Yeah, Arteza color pencils and watercolor pencils are probably my favorite as well out of everything I've tried from them. Um, Chow just got their gouache paints. Um, so, yeah, they just sent me some new um, foam tape, transfer tape, and some new holographic um, vinyl. I do want to try to make some of these logo stickers for you guys. I just sent, um, Elizabeth, I sent you an email, but I wanted to know if we can maybe change this to a more of a blocky font so it's easier to weed. Maybe make this a little smaller and make that a little bigger if we need to do that. But this is hard to weed. So Elizabeth has been very great, gracious and working with me and helping me try to um, perfect this logo. I really like this logo the best. I like both of the, these are my top two for the logos. But I'm trying to find something that's easy to weed for you guys that we can make this into a sticker or a decal or something for you guys. So um, that's what we're working on. So Elizabeth, not only is she a prize winner, she is our graphic designer for our logo. Because she's the bomb. 
Yeah, I think if, if she, aw, she's the best. She's so, yeah, I have Arteza Everblend. I have their brush markers, their Zig mark, or not Zig, their Twee markers. I like those. Um, but yeah, their transfer tape has worked out pretty well so far. And what I've been doing with it, I'll show you what they sent me. So I'm going to try this out. And then, yes, I agree. I've only used the foam tape a few times already. Look at this foam tape, you guys. You get a big roll of this foam tape. And at first I thought it wasn't thick enough, but now I'm looking at it, it does release pretty easy. I will agree with that. And I was comparing it to my scotch and I think it's about the same. Hold on. I was looking at it earlier today. Yeah, so for a big roll of scotch mounting tape, this was $4. It's normally, what, 6 or $7? And this is half inch, 150 inches. Yes, this is. It's a half inch, and it's 36 yards, you guys, and I think it's 20 bucks. So I will link these things, but I do have some review videos coming up where I'm going to compare the two for you. And I have some new holographic vinyl. So I'm trying to work on um, getting the logo so that it's easy to weed so that I can send you guys the, the logo. Because you guys are all part of the FSC. And we all joke and say FSC is for the Foiling Snobs Club. But the FSC is for whatever you want it to be. So it can be Foiling Scamping Club. It can be um, um, Fun Stamping Club, you know. But uh, Foiling Snobs Club is what we like to lovingly refer to it as. Um, but it's FSC is all of you guys. That is for you. It's not just Nancy Stamps. It's you guys are your own family, your own group. Every single one of you matters. I listen when you guys um, send me suggestions, emails, um, you know. So anything I can help you out with is this stuff. Yep, I'm going to go do the links right now, Jody. I'll do them. If you join our Facebook group and you go under Files, all of my affiliate links are going to be on there. And I'm going to add Impression Obsession on there. Um, I'm going to put Altenew on there. I just got the new stamps from Altenew. So if you guys want to see those, I got a couple from them. Um, before you purchase, you can. Also, Not Too Shabby Shop. We have a discount code there. Also, check out Tracy's links because Tracy is part of some other design teams. And she has also some affiliate links. And the sooner we can get Tracy to 1,000, you guys, that means we get lives from Tracy. She can't do them until she's at 1,000. And Tracy's also going to do a giveaway. So let's support each other. Let's support other YouTubers. There's plenty of room for everybody to share their creativity. We all have different styles, different ways of coaching and teaching. Um, you know, what I like may not be something you like. What you like might be something different from what I like, but maybe something Tracy does is what you enjoy. You know, all kinds of different styles. We need Ryan to get his own Facebook page because I think he would kill it or his uh, YouTube between his baking and that boy's design for um, card making. Ryan, I think you would kill it, hon. If you want to start a YouTube channel, I will be your manager. <laughs> I'm going to need payment in the form of cheesecake. <laughs> but I, I'm not joking. I'm serious. I've seen the creations you guys have sent to each other with the card exchange. The fact that you would take time out of your day and everything that's going on, all of the cards have been positive. They've been uplifting. They've been colorful. I haven't had anybody say to me, oh, this card is just, ew. Like you guys have said, whether it's a beginner's card or an ornate card, how beautiful they are, how uplifting they are. And that's just a tremendous testament to how awesome this team is in this group. So... Thank you guys for joining me on my live and thank you for hanging out and not being too hard on me. But most importantly, thank you for being there for each other and being kind to each other. I really appreciate that. So hugs to everybody. We're probably going to do something in June. Yes. 
we'll probably do something in June, yes. And I'm going to add a birthday. I'm going to do something for birthdays, too. Good night, Erica. Stay safe, sweetheart. To the winners, congratulations. We have more things to do. Good night, everybody. Don't forget to join our stamping group. I'm going to do more, more Facebook giveaways over there. Bye, guys. Wow.